So I first heard about Surfer Sealing when I was traveling surfing up in Montauk with two of my friends from Hawaii that were visiting um, shortly before we moved into school my sophomore year. And uh, we ran into some of the Surfer Sealing crew after they had finished their South tour and got to know them. And one of my friends had already done one of the tours with them in the past. So we came down, I moved into school, and then the first weekend we all went and did the Northeast tour with them. So they do two events each fall. Uh, one here in Belmar, New Jersey, and then one in, out in the Hamptons in New York. When I had my son Isaiah, our reason for doing this, I was heartbroken. I thought God hated me. I thought he gave me Isaiah because, you know, I'd done something bad. It was just one very frustrating day. Um, and I threw him in the water and uh, he popped up and he stopped crying. So I knew it was an initial shock. Um, I, you know, I think there was kind of like two, two days. And then it was a day he spent all day at Pokai Bay in, in Oahu. And it was the first time that he'd ever taken a nap. And he was an insomniac and he slept well. He, he lost all of his language, but on the way home from Makaha, to Mililani, he starts singing a song. And then we realized as Isaiah talking, my wife started bawling. So that was that, aha, this, this water is something very special. Uh, and I was talking about, about Gavin and how Gavin started with us uh, four years ago. And he was, he was one of those guys where he went out in the water, he did pretty good. The first day was a little bit overwhelming. I had, the waves were maybe four to six foot, pretty big, especially for having a, a child with you on the board, sometimes young adults. Um, it was a little scary, but after figuring out the mechanics of where to place the kid on the board and how to get them up to their feet quickly, um, it was incredibly rewarding getting to see the impact that it has on the kids and their families and all the people that show up to come and support the kids on the beach. And then once he got going, and once he got the, the feeling, he always had heart, and that's what it takes. It takes heart to do this. It takes some, it's some skill ocean knowledge, but it takes heart. So you don't make those parents feel like their children are a burden. You just seamlessly go grab. It's all part of the thing. So now I see Gavin out there and he's one of the best guys. And it's such an honor to have him and all these Hawaiians and New Zealand. I mean, it, it's incredible. What a gift. What a gift I have, you know, my son and Surfer Sealing. It's pretty incredible to see how quickly they can go from being timid and a bit afraid of the ocean to just having the biggest smile on their face after getting a couple waves. I'm really thankful for Jenna, Jensen, Edie, and Maggie coming out to help. Um, they're incredible with the kids and really get them comfortable with, you know, getting their life jackets on and walking them down to the water and helping us get them out through the surf and the shore break. Um, they're all really capable as lifeguards. Uh, they're all ocean lifeguards and grew up swimming, so it's great to have someone with their expertise and their skill with working with kids to come out to help. I can't cure cancer, but I can take out 200,000 children in, in my lifetime. I'm halfway there. So having all these guys come together, and girls, girls on the water, girls on the beach, girls helping us be part of this, um, these young high school kids now that are the coolest kids uh, you know, in, in school, I, you know, you'd never think they would want to do something like this with special kids, but it's it, it, it's so it's so uh, incredibly life changing for my healers. I've learned that it's really important to give back. Um, surfing has given me a lot throughout my life. I've gotten to travel to a lot of the best waves in the world, and had a career of just teaching kids how to surf, which was I, I really enjoy doing. But I found that the most rewarding part of all of it is just finding something that you love and sharing it with others and that's a big part of just the surf community in general. It's been really like a privilege to get to travel with Surfer Sealing and be able to give back to all these families in such a meaningful way.